Hey everybody, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions and welcome to another quick tip tutorial. On this episode, I want to show you how to create an effect on the Camsys Magic Q PC. Let's get right into it. All right, so now we're going to show you how to create an effect. The effects engines are all up here on the bar. Uh, you have add effect, effects, add effect size. You also have effects down here. And then you can pre-record as an, a palette an effect. So let's say, let's go ahead and select my, my expression 600 Zs, which are my moving headlights. And what we'll go ahead and do is, um, let's do down. So now that I've created, put them in a position. This is kind of like you want to put it in a start position for where you want the light to do its effect. All right, so now I have that done. Make sure they're selected. Hit add effects. You have a bunch of different options. You have user effects, intensity, position, color, beam, any attribute, and old. Any attribute is an interesting one. So the attribute button is a kind of a cool button. It allows you to put so you have pulse one, a damp, you can do a sine wave so, um, on any attribute of your fixture. So you can actually have it go and do it on a zoom or you can have it do it on your pan and tilt. This will allow you to kind of have some pretty cool unique effects. Um, we are going to add a position effect. And so you have all these different options and it's really kind of cool to see if you have more than about six to eight lights because you can see the waves and you can see how the program works. So let's go ahead and just hit diamond. So as you can tell, I just created an effect and I have my spread set at 100. So what spread does, it allows you to um, set how far apart you want the lights to move. So the lights are using the same effect. Um, and so what this does, it allows you to, let's go ahead and change it to zero. What zero does is basically makes the lights act together. So as you can tell, the lights are doing the exact same thing. So now you can do like, say 50%. And so this will make it about 50%. The second light is offset 50%. Um, you will see it more when you have multiple lights selected. Um, it will be more apparent with something like that. Um, now we're going ahead and go to our size. So the size, you can make it smaller or you can make it bigger so that it's using all of your all the range of motion on that cue. So with the X fade, you can change a lot of the different functions. So you can add it all together at 100%, so it's a fluid motion, or you can set it to be kind of paused between at each point on the effect. And the last one I want to show you is my speed. Uh, speed allows you to change how fast you want it to go or how slow. So let's change it to a really fast one, 0.75. As you can see, the lights are sped up. And then you can also change it to something really, really slow. Uh, a little too slow. Let's do 22 seconds. So you can change the, you know, the cool thing about an effects engine is you can put any effect and change the mood of the effect just by changing the attribute, the speed, the X fade, the size, you know, the direction. So you can change the directions to backwards, odd, even. So you can invert it, you can let's do it backwards at one second. Change it forwards. So you have tons of options on what you can work with. Uh, this also applies, go ahead and 
select both groups here and I'm going to bring them everything up. Now the interesting thing, I'll go ahead and show you how to do a color effect, um, is you kind of want to make sure all your, almost like red, just kind of max them all out. I don't need the white as much. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and we'll add an effect and we'll add a color. You have, these are the different options you have on your colors. You have red, green, red, green, blue, uh, three color, four color. I like to use these ones because you can customize the colors that you want. So I'll do a three color, start out with my mint, blue, and red. So as you can tell, I have all my lights are now changing color. And you have all the different options as well. You have your X fade, you have your speed, you have your direction, you have your spread. So if you do it like this, you can have it all together. 50% will change 10%, we just a little bit off. And then let's change this down to like 20. So then it'll, everything will be so up here. So then you can make it snap to, or you can make it do more of a fade, just by changing the X fade. It's really, really simple. So also one thing to note is that up here, you can change an individual function by like to say, I want 50% there. Um, you can say, I want this one to be You know, so and then, but then up here, up on the top row of that effect, it will change everything in that file. So I change that back to full. See, if I change this down to 50, it changes the whole thing. But if I change that, it just changes that one. So that's a quick way to adjust something, or you can adjust it specifically just by clicking that one attribute. So, and then when you're done creating your effect, all you have to do is hit record and select your playback. And that's it. It's very simple, very easy, and it works just like a regular cue and just like a playback. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, just tap on the icon above me. If you want to check out more quick tips or other tutorials, just check out the links over here. See you in another video.